hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy let's solve this problem so in this problem it is said that for an 80 newton squeeze on the handles of the pliers determine the force f applied to the round rod by each jaw right so we have to find the force that are applied by each jaw on this round rod right and it is said that in addition to that calculate the force supported by the pin at a right so we have to find the reaction force at this pin joint right so now uh, since while we are solving the problems related to the machines and frames what we do is that we consider the individual parts right so if we consider only this upper part of this plier right so we will have this free body diagram right so if if we apply 80 newton force like this inwards right so then as we can see that this jaw the upper jaw will apply the force on this uh, rod in this direction and similarly this jaw will apply the force on this rod in the uh, upward direction right so since uh, we are considering only this part of the plier so what what is happening is that uh, this part is applying the force on this rod in the upwards direction so as a reaction this rod will apply the force on this plier in the downward direction right so let's say on this part of the plier in the downward direction right so let's say that this is the force f which is applied as a reaction by this rod on this uh, plier jar right so let's say that this is that force f right and similarly at this uh, joint a we will have two reactions right so one reaction in the horizontal direction right so let's say that this is a x and there will be one another reaction which will be acting uh, vertically upward right so let's say that this is a y right which is acting vertically upward right and let's assume that this is our positive x and positive y direction right so now since we are interested to find this force f so if i apply the summation of moments at point a equals to zero and if we consider that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this f is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point a and the perpendicular distance of this force f from that point a is 35 mm right so i will write 35 multiply by f and since it's producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus and similarly this 80 newton force is producing the clockwise moment about that point a so i will write minus 80 and the perpendicular distance of this 80 newton force from that point a is 95 right so we will multiply this with 95 and this will be equal to zero so from this we can calculate the force f that this will be equal to 80 into 95 divided by 35 so this f force is we can find this by using calculator so this 80 into 95 divided by 35 so this is 217 right so we can add this force f is approximately 217 newtons right so this is the force that is applied by this rod on this part of the plier right so as a reaction the same force 217 newtons will be applied by the lower jaw of this plier on this rod right so this is the force that will be applied by each jaw on this rod right and similarly uh, we are asked to find the reactions at a right so we can find the reactions at a if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero for this free body diagram right so as we can see that here we have only a x which is acting in the uh, x direction right so this means that x is equal to zero and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to zero so as we can see that this force f is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus is 217 newtons and similarly this a y is acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus a y and this 80 newton is acting in the negative y direction so i will write minus 80 and this is equal to zero right so we can write that a y is equal to 217 uh, plus 80 right so this gives us that a y equals to 297 newton and if you want to find the total reaction at a so then we can write that a is equal to a x square plus a y square and since ax is zero right so we will get this ay square 
under the square root so this means that a equals to a y which is equal to 297 newtons right so this is the solution of this particular problem okay students now let's solve this problem so in this problem uh, we are required to compute the force supported by the pin at a for the slip joint pliers under a grip of 100 newton right so we are given that we the 100 newton force is applied at the arms of this plier right so we are re required to find the forces that are supported at this joint a right so what we will do is that we will consider the in the individual parts of this plier right so if i consider this upper part of this plier so we will have this free body diagram right so as we can see that if if 100 newton force is applied in this direction so what will happen is that this upper jaw will apply the force on this ring in this direction right like this right and similarly this lower jaw will apply the force on this ring in this direction so as a reaction this ring will apply the opposite force on this lower jaw right so this means that there will be a force applied by the ring on this jaw in this direction right so let's say that this force is c right and similarly at this uh, joint we will have the force like this which will be acting in the horizontal direction let's say that this is my positive x and y direction right so let's say that this is a x and there will be a force which will be acting vertically upwards right so let's say this is a y right so now since we are interested to find this ax and ay so for that uh, first we need to find uh, this c force right to find this c force what we will do is that we will apply the summation of moment at point a equals to zero so now as we can see that this c force is producing the counterclockwise moment about this point a so i will write c and the perpendicular distance of this c force from that point a is 60 mm right so we will write that this is 60 into c and since it is producing the counterclockwise moment so this is positive right and similarly this 100 newton force is producing the clockwise moment about this point a so i will write minus 100 and the perpendicular distance of this 100 newton force from that point a is 270 mm right so i will multiply this with 270 and this will be equal to zero right so from this we can find the force applied by the ring on this lower jaw right so this c is equal to 100 into 270 divided by 60 100 into 270 divided by 60 so this c is equal to 450 newtons right so i can write that c force is equal to 450 newtons now as we can see that this c force is parallel to this line right this if i join this line so this c force is parallel to this line so this means that this c force is making 45 degrees with the vertical right so if i draw a vertical line here right so this c force is making 45 degree with the positive y axis is right so now if i resolve this c force into its component so we will have one component of c in this direction right and we will have one component of c in this direction right so let's say that this is cx and this is cy right so now uh, since we are interested to find this ax and ay so if i apply the summation of forces along x equals to zero so as we can see that this c x is acting in the positive x direction and this a x is acting in the positive x direction so this will be equal to zero and this means that a x is equal to minus c x and since this angle is 45 degrees so this means that c x is the sine component right so we can write that a x is equal to minus c sine of 45 degrees and the magnitude of c is 450 newtons right so we can write that x is minus 450 sine of 45 degrees right so 450 sine of 45 degrees this is 318.19 or we can write it as 318.20 right so ax is 318.20 newtons right 
and similarly if I apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 right so as we can see that the cy is acting in the negative y direction so I will write minus cy ay is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus ay and this 100 newton force is acting in the negative y direction so I will write minus 100 and this is equal to 0 right so from this we can write that ay equals to 100 plus cy right and cy is the cost component of c right so I can write that this is c cause of 45 degrees and c is known which is 450 right so this means that this is 100 and this 450 cause of 45 degrees is again this is 318.20 right so this means that this is 418.20 so to find the total reaction force at that pin joint a so we can write that a equals to a x square plus a y square this will be the resultant of a x and a y since a x and a y are the components of this a force right so the resultant of a x and a y will be acting like this right so this is a x square so a x is 318.20 square plus a y is 418.20 so we will take the square root So this is 525.49 right so we can write 525.49 newtons right so this is the solution of this particular problem.